Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today we're going to talk about the importance of teaching values to your kids and a really simple and pretty easy way to do it. I'm going to break this actually into two parts because the, this first way that I'm going to talk to you about uses the principle of getting them involved in playing a musical instrument. In 1991, the Department of Labor sent out a um, document to high schools, colleges, universities, talking about what was needed in the workforce. In other words, they were hoping that colleges and universities and high schools would be able to give some of these skills to their students and to help them to, when they got into the workforce so that they would be reliable people. One of the things that they said was teamwork skills, another was communication, and another one was um, <clears throat> being able to um, be creative and imaginative and be a problem solver. So let's talk about how you as a parent, if you get your child involved in playing a musical instrument, that it can teach them a number of these values that are needed not only in the workforce, but to help them to be a successful and decent human being. So let's start with the first one, and that is hard work, the value of hard work. Now, when a child learns a musical instrument, it's not easy. It is truly like learning a foreign language. They're having to learn notes. They're having to learn a keyboard if they're starting out with piano, as many parents usually do. Or if a stringed instrument, they have to find that note. And they have to be able to learn to read the music. It takes a lot of hard work. It's not for the faint of heart, and the people who do become proficient as a musician, and I'm not saying somebody that's going to go off and play in Carnegie Hall, but even if they're, if they're working hard each day and practicing each day, they learn the value of hard work. All of these values that I'm going to talk about that are developed when a child learns a musical instrument is something that they can now use and they can take it and they can now use it in numbers of different other things that they become involved with. The second one is perseverance and determination. When a child is learning a musical instrument, they have to, you know, they have to have persistence. They have to be determined because it doesn't happen if not. Now, this is where a parent can come in. There are difficult times when learning a musical instrument. And kids, I think, really appreciate if a parent sits next to them on the piano bench or a chair if they're learning another type of instrument, just a warm body. And even if the parent doesn't read music, it will help them for them to be there as a support. And it will help the child to learn to, uh, perseverance and determination because they have to do it every single day. You can share with your children about different um, musicians over the ages and different things, different, they, th their lives were not easy at all and they had to be persistent and determined. For instance, Handel, he had a terrible debilitating stroke. He was put into a rest home. Every night the nuns heard him shuffling over to the organ and plinking out the notes. He had persistence and determination. He was determined to get back and to continue to write music. He knew that there was still a lot of music inside of him that needed to come out. And it was after he recovered from this stroke that he wrote Messiah. Bach suffered from blindness and diabetes. He produced a massive amount of church music for the church every single week. He was determined as well that he was not going to stop his career just because he was going blind and had difficulties with diabetes and neuropathy. He kept pushing forward. Beethoven, which all of you know, he, was, he went deaf at a very young age considering and he was not able to hear the music. It's one thing being blind, you can still hear the music. But for Beethoven, he could not even hear the music. So he cut off the piano legs. He put the piano down on the floor so he could feel the vibrations coming through the floorboards. He composed some of his greatest music when he was totally and completely deaf. But he too felt, as the other composers, that there was a lot more music inside of him. And he was determined that one way or another, it was coming out. If a child wants to do anything in life, if they want to be successful at anything in life, they need to be persistent and they need to be determined. Another one is learning self-discipline. 
It takes self-discipline every day to get onto that piano or to get that musical instrument and to practice. But as the saying goes, practice makes perfect. So they learn self-discipline. This is a really important one. When they become teenagers and go into college, you know, the self-discipline to make decent decisions is very important. Responsibility is another one because a child becomes, as they're learning a musical instrument, they come to the determination that there's only one person that is responsible for their success, and that's themselves. They are responsible for that instrument if they want to learn it and become proficient in it, and they have to be responsible in going to that instrument every single day and practicing it. And responsibility. You know, employers want responsible employees. Somebody that they can depend on that comes to work when they're supposed to, they show up on time when they're supposed to, and they give their all. Those qualities are important. One that I mentioned about the labor force, they said teamwork. Teamwork is extremely important for the 21st century. Um, during the 50s and 60s, a lot of people, it wasn't so much teamwork, but now they realize that it's an extremely important quality to have. You could be extraordinarily bright, but if you can't work together with a team, that's not a good thing. They need teams because the saying goes, two heads are better than one. So if you're working together as a team and you understand give and take, that's a powerful value and quality to have. When a child is part of an orchestra or a band, they are learning teamwork. They have to listen to the person next to them. They have to listen to their music that's coming out. They have to watch the conductor. They have to be playing their music at the same time. So there's this whole entire group and team effort in order to uh, produce a beautiful sound. It's the same way in a marching band, an orchestra, anything. Teamwork is vital. Another thing is creativity. There is something that sparks the brain when a child is learning a musical instrument, or if they're learning any of the arts, one thing that becomes very prominent is they tend to be creative thinkers. They tend to be more problem solvers. This is where the visual spatial comes in. This is the important part that I explained to you where you see pictures in your mind. A musician is developing the visual spatial areas of their brain. A child who is learning a musical instrument is developing those. As they develop them, they'll, they'll create these pictures in their mind, which translates into them being more creative, more imaginative, and better problem solvers. Now, <clears throat> start your kids today. Explain to them that learning a musical instrument is not only incredible brain food for your brain, but it also teaches important values that you can take those values into your life when you're married, in the workforce, with your children. It, they're that powerful. Hopefully you'll um, try and use some of these suggestions with your children as they're learning their musical instrument. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow.